Welcome back everyone and I'm going to continue at the journey of a medical device from manufacturing to packaging through to labeling and sterilization. So right now we're going to focus on packaging. So if we look at the, at the life cycle of a medical device uh, from manufacturing through to finishing as uh, so that could be polishing or coating um, and then the next uh, job that's done either in the plant itself or it's contracted out is packaging uh, the device, uh, which usually incorporates labeling so that the package has the label on it. Um, and then uh, sterilization uh, is typically the, the end, uh, the, the most downstream process before the product is shipped. Okay, so product packaging and labeling, it's a very important downstream function of medical device manufacturing. And it provides, packaging provides a number of very important functions and labeling is a critical regulatory requirement for which full compliance is mandatory. So the product packaging should act as a sterile barrier. And this uh, means that it maintains product sterility until it's needed for use. It protects the product during uh, transit, during storage. It displays the product uh, easily so that staff uh, know what they're picking up off the shelf. Um, it should facilitate ease of use um, and it should add value to the, pro to the product. And these are very important. And, and sometimes there's a lot of money spent on uh, packaging design so that it is easy for the clinician um, to use, which is going to enable your product to be chosen maybe over another product because it's simply easier to, to, to open the package. Maybe with one hand, uh, if you're trying to maintain steril sterility in, in surgery, um, you know, so these things are, are very important and ultimately will add value to the product. Uh, so to assist storage, uh, it should be easily, easy to store the medical devices. Um, you should be able to define a product multiple. Uh, so the product can be packed into, in defined multiples. And you should be able to identify product details. Okay, so this is the labeling which we will talk about later. So it should provide uh, information for the end users, um, such as directions for use, warning statements, lot number, that type. And this is an example of the different types of packagings available. So uh, these are disposable scalpel blades in a foil uh, wrap packaging. And there's a little opening here, so you can see these arrows uh, are where you, uh, you, you open the foil wrap. Uh, so these are contact lenses. Uh, it's in a, like a blister pack, so it's a foil uh, underside and then a clear plastic um, top layer. And you can see the seal, which I've just marked by an arrow there, um, sealing in the contact lens, which is in uh, fluid. Um, so this is a, um, a this would be a hard plastic compartment tray type um, container. Again, it's very visible. You can see what's in there, easy to store. Um, this would be a flow wrapped uh, uh, syringe, disposable syringe. It's sterile. And um, this is just pouch packaging of a uh, of some tubing. So there's a number of uh, levels of packaging. The inner or primary packaging is in direct contact with the product, which I just showed in the previous slide. These are usually placed then into a carton or an inner shipping shipper packaging, which contains multiples of the product. Um, and this would go into a corrugate then or outer shipper packaging which is loaded onto pallets for final shipment. Um, and there are some standards governing packaging. So uh, for example, EN ISO 11607 uh, is for uh, devices that are sterilized after being completely sealed or enclosed in at least the primary packaging. Um, so this um, standard relates to packaging for devices that are going on to be sterilized after packaging. So packaging for sterilized medical devices part one is the requirements for the materials, the sterile barrier systems and the packaging systems. And part two is validation requirements for forming, sealing and assembly processes during packaging. Now I want to talk about uh, this standard, but uh, just be aware that it is there in these standards governing the types of packaging that can be used. 
Okay, so in the next section, I will talk about the different types of packaging in more detail. Thank you.